Max's Dragon by Kate Banks, pictures by Boris Kolikov. Max skipped across the lawn. His brothers, Carl and Benjamin, were playing croquet. Found ground, said Max. What are you doing? Carl asked. I'm looking for words that rhyme, said Max. Look what I found on the ground. Max picked up an umbrella. Who needs that, said Ben. It's not raining. Max opened the umbrella and ducked underneath. Ready? he asked. Who are you talking to? asked Ben. My dragon, said Max. Dragons don't exist, said Carl. Yes, they do, said Max. There's a dragon in my wagon. Carl looked into the wagon. We're playing hide and seek, said Max. So please don't peek. Sorry, said Carl. He and Ben began to laugh. Ben hit his ball through the wicket. It trolled across the lawn. Max raced off. Where are you going, said Carl. My dragon's tail has made a trail, said Max. I'm following it. Then... Max lay down in the grass and looked up at the clouds. Carl put down his mallet. What are you doing now, he asked. My dragon's trying to practice flying, said Max. I still don't see him, said Ben. He's up there, dancing on air, said Max. I still say there is no such thing as a dragon, said Carl. Then along came a big black cloud. Uh-oh, said Max. Oh no. Hey, that cloud looks like a dinosaur, said Ben. It's going after your dragon, said Carl. If my dragon isn't faster, there'll be a big disaster, said Max. The dinosaur is getting closer, said Ben. The wind began to whistle. It blew the hat off Carl's head. It whispered in Ben's ears. Max zipped up his sweatshirt. My dragon sneeze makes quite a breeze, he said. The sky turned purple. Thunder rumbled and clapped. Carl and Ben jumped. My dragon's fury makes me worry, said Max. The rain began. Max put up his umbrella. Carl and Ben were shivering. My dragon's roar has made it poor, said Max. What can we do to stop it? cried Carl. Get rid of the dinosaur, said Max. How? said Ben. You need to make a rhyme, said Max. The dinosaur fell into the well, said Carl. Where he had to stay for the rest of the day, said Ben.
Suddenly, the rain dwindled to a drizzle. The thunder ceased. The wind died down. The clouds parted, and out came the sun. It worked," said Ben. "Where's your dragon now?" asked Carl. "My dragon thought it best to take a little rest," said Max. Carl and Ben went back to playing croquet. "Where's my ball?" said Ben. Max poked his umbrella into the bushes. "I see something round lying on the ground," he said. "Is it another dragon?" said Ben. "No," said Max, leaning over. "It's a croquet ball." Max handed it to Ben. Thanks," said Ben. "Would you like to play croquet?" Carl said to Max. "I don't know how, but I'd like to learn," said Max. "Then take a turn," said Carl, and he handed Max a mallet. Max hit the ball with the mallet. It bounded across the grass and out of sight. Where did it go? asked Carl. It rolled over the clover, said Max, and threw a wicket and into a thicket, said Ben. There was a rumbling in the distance. "What's that?" asked Carl. "It's my dragon," said Max. "What is he doing now?" said Ben. "He's snoring," said Max. Suddenly, the rain began again. "We need to make a rhyme," said Carl. Max popped open his umbrella. "Don't be upset about getting wet," he said, "because as you can see, there's room for three." The end.